Hey guys, Omar Osman here. Today I'm sharing three things I learned from reading The Energy Bus by John Gordon. This book is a parable about approaching life and work with positive energy. Now, a lot of times that might get seen as like this rah-rah cheerleading kind of thing, but there's a lot, of, a lot of good lessons to be had. The first is that you choose how to drive your bus. Now, this is an analogy. It's you're in charge of your bus, you're in charge of the destination, where it goes, who you let on, who you let off. But how you drive your bus is in, is in your control. Now, the example that he's making here is that things are going to happen, everybody. Stuff happens, adversity happens, we go through difficult times. In order to have positive energy about going through adversity, you have to decide how you respond to it. Now, we don't control the things that happen to us sometimes, but we do control our response to them. So when adversity strikes, we can choose to be negative, we can choose to let it, let it bog us down, or we can choose to go through it, make an excuse to do meaningful work, and find purpose and meaning in what we do. Sometimes, and we also have to recognize that sometimes adversity is what is needed to make us change. We can't control what happens to us, but we can take responsibility in how we perceive it and in cha changing the actions that affect the outcomes from it. The second lesson is that your positivity has to be more than others' negativity. No matter what you do, no matter what path you're going down, the more that you achieve, succeed, or even try to do something, the more that you'll get negative criticism from people. And you have to recognize that a lot of times this criticism, it's a way for people to mask the fact that they're not achieving what they want to do and so they project their own shortcomings and, and weaknesses onto you. It is difficult though sometimes to hear that constant stream of negative feedback. So you have a choice. Do you let these people on your bus or do you kick them off the bus? And in a lot of cases, you have to find ways to shut those negative voices out and making sh and keep, you have to find a way to cut those negative voices out, keep moving forward, and make sure that you're guided by the vision and purpose of what you're doing. The third lesson is that energy is everything. Energy is affected by multiple things, your sleep, your eating habits, the things that you read, the things that you listen to, the people that you're around. One thing that John talks about in the book are energy vampires. These are negative people that suck the energy out of you. They're people that when you walk into a room, you can feel the toxicity. You don't want to be around them. You just want to get out. You don't feel like working. You lose your motivation. You have to make sure, first of all, that you're not, the ty you're not a vampire that's sucking the energy out of other people, but you've also got to make sure that you don't let them do the same thing to you. Being positive requires a certain amount of intentionality. See, if we let things go by default and we don't make any effort, negativity fills that void by default. So in order to make sure that we don't let that negativity overcome us, we have to make sure that when negative things happen or we're around negative people, that we're proactively making an effort to make sure that we take a positive stance instead. That doesn't mean that negative things won't happen, but it's the lens by which we approach it and how we respond to it. And when you become the type of person that's able to respond to situations in that manner, someone that their default is positive energy, not that they're constantly 100% happy all the time, but that their default is positivity, that they outweigh the negativity of others, when you're able to do that, you attract other people like that to you and you surround yourself with high achieving, positive people, and that leads to more success. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out the show notes for a link to get the book and subscribe to our channel to get more videos.